Welcome back to TVS Tech Digest. United Kingdom's reliance on coal is set to end this month. Britain is making a vital step towards decarbonizing its electricity supply when its final coal-fired power plant closes at the end of this September. The last remaining coal-fired power station in the UK is set to close, making a shift for locals and the country as it seeks to push with its green energy agenda. The Ratcliffe on Soar power station has dominated the landscape of Nottinghamshire for nearly 60 years, looming over the small town of the same name and a landmark on the M1 motorway bisecting Derby and Nottingham. But at the end of this month, the site in central England will close its doors, signaling the end to polluting coal powered electricity in the UK. Coal has played a vital part in British economic history, powering the Industrial Revolution of the 18th and 19th centuries that made the country a global superpower and creating London's infamous choking smog. Even into the 1980s, it still represented 70% of the country's electricity mix before its share declined in the 1990s. The fall has been even sharper over the last decade, slumping to 38% in 2013, 5.0% in 2018, and then just 1.0% last year. With the closure of the plant, the country is set to be the first G7 nation to stop using coal for electricity generation. In 2015, the then Conservative government said it intended to shut all coal-fired power stations by 2025 to reduce carbon emissions. Jess Ralston, head of energy at the Energy and Climate Intelligence Unit Think Tank, said the UK's 2030 clean energy target was very ambitious. But she added that it sends a very strong message that the UK is taking climate change as a matter of great importance and that this is only the first step. And this is really where it's showing glo global leadership, um, phasing out coal as one of the first countries to do so. Um, it sends a very strong message that the UK is taking climate change as a matter of great importance. Um, and also that this is only the first step. So we've got rid of coal, but we now need to get rid of oil and gas, move on to renewables. And the last few years of the gas crisis have shown us that we can't rely on gas either. And that's really as a, as a product of all of the regulation and the, the policy of the last decade. And it hasn't happened overnight. This has been a long journey. Um, but it's really positive. It really shows that it can be done and it shows that other countries can follow suit um, and have a, an economy that works without coal on it. By last year, natural gas represented a third of the UK's electricity production, while a quarter came from wind power and 13% from nuclear power, according to electricity operator National Grid ESO. Ralston said that the UK managed to phase coal out so quickly largely through a combination of economics and then regulations. Larger power plants like coal plants had regulations put on them because the sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxides, and all the emissions coming from them are no longer economically attractive to invest in. The new Labour government launched its flagship green energy plan after its election in July to make Britain a clean energy superpower by 2030. This is done by ramping up wind and solar capacity and investing in carbon capture and storage. Renewables are projected to make up 83% of Britain's electricity generation by 2050, the Financial Times reports. The government recently announced it had approved 131 new renewable energy projects in its latest auction round, with a significant increase in offshore wind. As such, Ratcliffe on Soar's closure on September 30th is a symbolic step in the UK's ambition to decarbonize electricity by 2030 and become carbon neutral by 2050. It will make United Kingdom the first in the G7 of rich nations to do away entirely with coal power electricity. Italy plans to do so by next year, France in 2027, Canada in 2030, and Germany in 2038. Japan and the United States have no set dates. This is it for today. Keep watching TVS Channel 122 on Astro TV, MyTV, Unify TV, and www.tvsarawak.com for more tech news.